All right, y'all, what's up? We have a common problem, and that is a quick set thumb thingy. Thumb thingy not working right. So uh, this particular one, when I took it off the door, and this is common, what happens is these screws, even though they, they've got blue Loctite on them, uh, they come loose with use. And what happens is it gets all loose on the inside and the inside starts acting or on the inside of the front this is the outside the inside of the outside this part basically uh just gets loose that's the the number one biggest problem with them uh they don't really tear they can break or they can tear up uh, obviously if this was allowed to to get used a lot in its loose state uh, uh, we we do have a broken part here. We do have a broken part. We're gonna have to see what that is. But most of the time, if it's just loose, you can you can just tighten it back down. But we're gonna take a look and see what broke. What these little two little pieces right there are. Uh, if you don't have to do this, by the way, don't. Okay, so those two little pieces are part of the gear, which this goes into. So we're going to move that to that. And we're going to lift this up with a pair of tweezers. To see what exactly, what, what broke, what broke. I broke. Did you break? You didn't break. And you didn't break. Obviously, we got a little bit of a wear problem going on, but not... Honestly, I don't see where those two pieces broke off of unless they came... Unless, yep, there they are. That's the two little tabs, basically, that, that tab down into here. And they broke because they were they were getting jammed up. So that's what they are. Uh, but as far as this part, there's no real big deal here. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use two different lubricants. I'm going to use Houdini to clean it. But you could also use contact cleaner. That would be, that would be the best thing. But Houdini is a good cleaner as well. <laughs> Watch your eyes. When you're spraying, uh, we could go ahead and pull the rest of this out if we wanted to. Just to get some of the bigger goo hunks out. And we can, uh, Spray that. Just checking everything. Everything looks good. Get back in there. Like that. Make sure it goes up and down okay. Maybe bent or something may be going on in there. Now, if you haven't seen my earlier video to get this off the door, I'm going to put a link up in the corner right here uh, to to let you know where to go look for that video that i did on how to how to basically fix the quick set lever handles with the set screw on the side uh, but in this case it would be how to how to get it off obviously that's uh being judicious with my use of that we're gonna put that directly like that uh check this little piece right here and that goes goes down just like that and uh and then we're gonna oh, let's hold this right here we're gonna get some new loctite the nozzles clogged up long ago <laughs> all right careful careful oh go oh, there we go fresh coat of Loctite on them. You know, it may have just been like cheap Loctite. Somebody may have been using cheap Loctite. Always use 
Loctite original brown, folks. Uh, and you can also watch out for the, the thumb turn. You know, this sometimes I've noticed this thing gets bent. So if, if this post gets bent, you would need to replace it with some kind of pin or something. That's happened before as well. And uh, you could also drop Loctite down in there, but I think we're good. I think we're okay. Uh, and then this all needs to come in as one piece. And then this little pin right here needs to go there, which needs to go underneath that. So we're going to put that, put that underneath that, just like this maybe. Nope. It's kind of hard to hold together. Let's go. It goes in the hole. Okay, well you can you can sit over here for a minute. Uh, and it goes holding it kind of vertical there. Okay, make sure the pen went into the slot that it was supposed to. this doodad back down which depending on the hand of your door would be one way or another there's a little there's a little diagram stamped into it there okay you want to make sure this is sitting flat and it's not right now so uh, that's probably because we're missing those little those little guide teeth that were on the back of this normally they would fall into the hole Kind of hold it there but they're not there anymore so uh we're not necessarily going to be concerned about that if you hold it the right way you don't need the guide pins okay come on oh, no, no, no. come on over here And uh, when you right uh, now, the other part could be the latch itself, which I left in the door. Their latch seems to be okay, but uh, you may need to purchase a latch for yours if it's in bad shape. Another thing that we're going to do here is go ahead and unscrew these and put Loctite on them because the interior handle was loose as well. This is a good idea to do to any of your doorknobs, oh, oh, especially lever handles. So we're going to drop, 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 somewhere in there. Buy the big bottle, y'all. It's expensive up front, but it's definitely worth it. Let's get this started because this is the kind with the twisty. Uh, and again, you just take your, your lubricant and uh, hose down your latch, take it out of the door, hose it down, which I'm going to do at the door, and then screw it back in and see how it does. Probably will work 100% better. A little bit too tight. Even those out again. Oh. Okay, it's all right. Oh. Yep, we just tighten one side down a little bit too much. Do -do. Do -do. There we go. So that's it for the most part. Um, fixing a quick set dumb thing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments. As always, post them in the comment section. I am going to hit it off with a, a little bit heavier lube. This is kind of a, almost a jelly. Jelly. Uh, and that is because this is a mechanical mechanism. I don't necessarily like using this in cylinders. Whereas with this, you can. I could have left it this way. But I do need to find some more of this. This was not a bad lubricant for gears and mechanisms and stuff like that 
Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.